Okay. Hey, everybody. Happy smoking guy here again. I'm um, just uh, doing the uh, hash video. Told you I was going to do. It's fucking super easy. Stems. Or if you're lucky enough to have sugar bud trim, uh, which would be the leaves of shea jar, glass, glass jar, glass bottle, something you can uh, put the shit in. And uh, you need isopropylene alcohol. 91% uh, is all I can really find around here. I'm sure you're also going to need a Pyrex pan. Uh, either a razor blade or a brand new paint scraper. Because you don't want paint getting into your fucking hash. A coffee filter. Or something with a super, you know, micro fucking filter on it. Uh, coffee filter is the easiest and cheapest I've found. That's what I've heard. I've seen them in all that use on there so that's what I use okay all right now that we got the what you're gonna need stuff out of the way I'm gonna show you what you're gonna do with it take your Pyrex pan uh, you normally want to take your uh, your jar you're gonna take your stems Take your alcohol. Now you're only going to pour it in there enough just to cover those. You don't want to fill this jar up or anything like that. Right. Just enough to cover those. And then we shake the fuck out of it. A couple of different, uh, different uh, theories on this, on how long. I've heard two minutes, I've heard 20 minutes. Uh, I will tell you that uh, if you do it for a short time, what I've learned from it anyway, is if you do it for a short time, uh, the hash is always lighter. Uh, it may be stronger, I don't know. I smoke it all. And I get high off of all of it, so I don't really know. Uh, I've done it for 20 minutes, and it was a, uh, and I know it had more plant, plant material in it because it had a green tint to it. Uh, so, I usually just go until the water is kind of cloudy. And it's cloudy. This. This is a uh, powery bottle that I cut using it for a bomb, and we're just gonna do it like this. And you're gonna pour it through the coffee filter into the Pyrex pan. A minute, because uh, the shit is fucking sifting through. I don't know if you can make that shit out or not. See how it's going through there? It's not real quick. Uh, you can leave this on there, or whatever you're using as a stand, you can leave it in there, but it does gather onto whatever it is which I don't want to waste any of it. So, I'll let it fucking drip out as slow as it wants. I want it to be uh, too humid either. Like if it's raining and shit outside, uh, this ain't gonna turn out right. Uh, the humidity in the air actually fucking does really fuck it up. It uh, makes it more uh, like milky looking and it fucking takes forever and a day to dry and it changes the flavor of it and everything it's fucking humidity plays a huge part in this kind of shit uh, after i put it in a well ventilated area uh we'll get back to it in like three four hours check on it make sure everything is going good in the vent over your stove or in your kitchen or if you have an open window in your kitchen wherever you're fucking doing this at uh you can put it on either a uh, a candle warmer little fucking thing that plugs into the wall I do actually have one, but uh, you have to keep an eye on it. Anytime you put a heat source to it, 
uh, other than like a pan of warm water underneath it, uh, you really have to keep an eye on it because if you burn it, it'll it'll go to shit and it won't be it won't be worth fucking fucking with. So you, any you gotta up the uh, up the ventilation because you do not want isopropylene alcohol vapor building in your fucking place. That ain't nothing to be breathing on, dude. For real. I realize that's just the plant material, but uh, there's always a residual white, it's almost white, powder inside of there. Once that dries out, that shit will flake out of there real easy. Like, what I do is just separate the stems from that after it completely dries, and uh, that there. And then I'll fucking, I usually just throw it on a bowl or something just to make sure I'm not missing anything. I don't want to throw away any precious trichomes or keef. Because I want to get high, and I paid for this shit. So I want to get everything I possibly can out of it and enjoy it. And actually, it's more like uh, two and a half, two forty-five, uh, rather than three hours. And that's what we're left with. You see that white milky shit in there? That's because it's kind of cool outside, but still humid. Handy dandy paint scraper. Uh, when you buy one, of them, until you set the shit in the freezer and all that shit and press it. But, we're gonna start scraping this shit. Uh, I've always heard that you uh, better off if you're scraping it to the center. Uh, most of the time that works, but sometimes it's just not not feasible. Be smart, book smart. Imagine all of your missed opportunities in one place. Okay. And that's... That's what you get. Uh, I could probably do. I know this right here yeah, will get me out. Uh, I use a any kind of thick plastic I got around. Because in the uh, when you put the shit in the freezer, it does. No stranger comes around my growing family without a background check. Now you can use been verified on the go. Download the Squeeze free the background check app on your Android or iPhone. Search right from the palm of your hand. And then we'll put that in the freezer. And let that set. Alright. And uh I have taken it out and uh rolled it and fucking pressed it and rolled it, pressed it, put it back in there, take it out, repeat it like three times, and uh then you're left with that. Hash. Yeah. So I mean, imagine all of your missed opportunities in one place. Can you see that? That old flame you should have called. Just from holding it too long. It. Put this little drop in there. And see what happens. I'm gonna smoke this bowl of hash here, boy. Well, hope you liked it. 
I uh, hope it gets subscribers for me. I uh, hope you got some knowledge from it.